M0FXB, me and M6LSJ just been tinkering around with the Bofeng DM1701 GD77. So at the moment we're in channel mode. If you press briefly the red button, we're in VFO mode. If you hold it, we go to VFO B. That's on receive and transmit RT. Okay, hold it again. VFO A. Let's say we want to create a, a channel and save it. So we would go, you'd press the green button. Then you'd go up and down to channel details. Okay, channel details. And this is where you put in all the parameters of your channel. So we're on VFO A at the moment. We go down, we can set the frequency. So if I put in a, let's put in a hot, um, a local repeater. So we'll go one, four, five, seven, five, zero, two more zeros that's the receive down one the transmit is one four five uh one five zero that's tb3 bc go down we don't want dmr we want analog to so turn the middle knob just here middle knob until it says fm if you did have it keep it on dmr as you go down it's going to ask you for your your color code you know all that your time slot, your DMR number, all that, all the stuff you need for, you know, to set the parameters of a DMR. But otherwise we're gonna go back to FM analog. Keep going down, ignore all of the DMR stuff except for CTCSS. And that's actually the right CTCSS. We don't want to receive, we just want TX. And you can turn it forward and back. And we do want 94.8. The timeout is turned off. So that's it. Our channel's set, really. If I press the PTT, M0 FXB test, test, test. As I transmit, you can see that it shows the input frequency or the transmit frequency. So that's great. We've got that. Um, the next thing we want to do is actually save this channel. If we go back into channel details, you're not actually seeing a name. Watch this. We go channel details. Everything's in there that we just set but you're not seeing a name for the channel. You're seeing VFO A. So the way we do this is back out completely. Press the, at the top, you've got the quick menu, which gives you lots of functions. At the bottom here, just so you remember, that is the function button. The bottom one is the function button on a 1701. So you go back out, quick menu, top button. Now we can send that channel to the, and it's a VFO channel to our channel memories. So you just go up and down until you see the one that says VFO to new channel. Okay, and so we're going to hit the green one. Just checking that we can't see a, an option there to add a name. No, I can't. So go back to, uh, uh, interestingly, dual watch is there. So if you press the green, you're going to be dual watching, and I'll show you that right at the end. But for now, we go up. VFO to new channel, hit the green, and then confirm. So you've created its channel seven. If I key now, that is gonna be transmitting on the same frequencies that we just you just saw me do, but the name is wrong. So we wanna change that name. Well, when you're in channel mode, and I'll remind you how to get to channel mode, brief press, VFO mode, brief press, channel mode. Now we can start changing our name. So watch this, hit the, the green button, <clears throat> go to yeah channel details again and this time look the name is there new channel because in channel mode it shows you the name so we're now going to change that name by holding down remember i said about the function button so we'll press function and we're going to turn the middle knob backwards and it acts as a delete on this particular model so We'll just do that, and we've deleted it. And let's put in its GB3BC. So number four has a G. Keep pressing it. No, oh, remember to delete. If I get make a mistake, just middle knob. So do that again. G. I'm doing for the capitals. B, and then three. B, and it, you can do this quicker than you think, because this is all about programming the radio without having to use a code plug. Then 
you select that, okay? And you've, you've named it, DB3BC. But if we change channel now, it will lose that memory. So we now have to send that back to the memory. So all you do is hit the top button, the quick menu, and just again, send VFO to channel. I'm just gonna hit this green button and then confirm, green button again. Right, now if we turn backwards, that's the previous channels that have not been named. There isn't, they are automatically named. If we go forward to number seven, I know it's not the clearest text, but if we go forward, it does say, believe it or not, it says GB3BC. I'll have to change the color on that because the beautiful thing about this radio and this system, GD77, is if you go menu, up to options or down, up to theme, day theme, you can change the colors. At the moment, it seems like I've got one, the the zone, yeah, is it the channel name look as a light blue? Let's see if I can change it. You press the, if I remember right, you press the hash. Let's get it so it stands out a bit more. Now you have to play around a bit with these different numbers and you get different colors. We're just looking for something a bit darker, aren't we? So let's it's like a dark green. Hopefully that will save. And look, you can see it now, GB3BC. You can customize everything. I remember I said I was gonna show you the dual watch. Just go top button, which is your quick menu. Go up to, you'll see the word dual watch with a bit of luck. Trying to find it now. It might be something you have to set in VFO mode, so that's fine. Red button, brief press, VFO mode. Yeah, then do the top and look for dual watch. Dual watch, press it. It's quite small, it's right at the top, but it actually says dual watch. And now the thing that has changed is you've got R, A and R, B. So you're listening to do two different bands there at the same time. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now, 7-3.